AFTV, you've got Turkish here, Turkish, end of the season, 5-0. Um, it's, 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 I was just saying to Julian, if only, you know what I mean, we were presenting this, the, you know, the, the Premier League trophy on the pitch. How great would that have been for this club? But um, what have you made of the season? Uh, a dead end to a promising season. That's how I see it. I can't lie. Even throughout the game, I was checking Man City scores like it meant, like it meant something. I was just thinking, in an alternate reality, this is the game that it's all on. And they actually lost. They actually lost, yeah. and, and they drew midweek. So all of that, all of that talk about the last two away games of the season. Yes, they had the, you know, they, they could rotate their squad a bit, and that probably caused some of the drop points. But at the end of the day, we should have brought it to the final day of the season, and that's that's kind of why it's a bittersweet end. Um, obviously. We got the job done, 5-0, emphatic fashion. Reminds me of last season, we missed out on top four and then we smoked Everton here, I think it was 5-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This season, the pressure was off last game. It was a nice, you know, spring day. Got the job done again, but essentially the big job, the Premier League mm. title, we couldn't get it done. And, and all I can say is on to the next one. It's time yeah, to well, put this what, one behind what do, us. What do we do now to, to because sometimes, listen, we are, we, we have to admit, we are this season, when we probably a couple of weeks in, some more drinks, <laughs> right? <laughs> we'll probably look back at the season and we say, don't want more drinks. we'll we don't look back want. at the season and we'll say, you know what? We came close and we're ahead of schedule. Now, what do we do to bridge that gap with next year coming? Because next, you know I mean? Next season will be here fast, August. As fans, you know what? The, the, the best thing Mikel Arteta has done at this club so far is raise the bar. The standards have been raised and we was just out there looking mm. at Odegaard come out. The first thing Odegaard mentioned was the disappointment. Yeah. The first thing Arteta mentioned was the disappointment. But the bar's been raised now. As fans, we cannot allow that bar to, to slide back down because it should never have slid down to eighth place twice and it should never have slid down to Europa League football. It should never have slid down to top four being a trophy. Top four is not a trophy. Top four is not success. No, yes, it's more finances for the club, but it's what the club do with those finances that matter. So Mikel Arteta, thank you for raising the standards. Thank you for lifting the bar up. Thank you for bringing Champions League football back because Champions League money was an excuse for this ownership. What we can do now is build on what he's brought us to, and that's square one. We're back to square one. Square one was Champions League football with a lack of ambition. We're back at square well, we one do, in terms I, of Champions League football. I wouldn't say football. square one, because we challenged this season. And we haven't challenged since we, we come here. And, and, and it, you know, to challenge for a league, you know what I mean, is, is the first step. It is the first step, and hopefully the experience that they've got from this this title running mm. bodes well for the future. I mean, the, the pain from last season in the top four battle, we obviously used that to our advantage. We used that in the start of this season, throughout the season, and we, we nearly got over the line. We've got to use this pain. And I'm yeah. glad that Odegaard mentioned disappointment first. I'm glad that Mikel Arteta talks about, you know, um, letting us down, because that is the standards of this football club. If we're not winning it, then we're not accepting second place either. We move on to mm. the next one. So big up Mikel for, for raising the bar, raising the levels, raising the standards. I'm looking at the summer now. I'm looking at these, these Caicedos and Rices and Diabis and all these players that we've been linked to. Let's get them in early. Let's go into pre-season again, you know, similar to last season where the new signings were under our belt and we all got a chance to see them. They got a chance to bed in with the team and whatnot. We need that again. And mm. we need that again, and we need that again and again and again. There's no more resting on our laurels now. We've gone mm. through 19 years of, of nearly 20 years of pain, nearly 20 years of underachieving, nearly 20 years of not realizing that the club we are and where we should be. Now we need to move forward with a new mindset, a new mindset that, yes, City are juggernauts. Yes, we can sign every Tom, Dick and Harry we want this summer and still miss out on the title next season. But I don't want this club not to try anymore. Yeah. I want them to try as much as they can this summer to get who they need. And a word on Granit Xhaka, two goals today, should have had a hat-trick really, <laughs> um, but two goals today, I couldn't, you know, when I, I, I said to Julian, I've never seen such a turnaround with a, with a football player, right? For the same fans that a few years ago were, you know, booing him, telling him to get off the pitch, the, the famous incident with the, with the arm, armband and stuff like that to the fans singing Granite Xhaka we want you to stay um, now I know you've always been uh, a, that was you, a bit too much when I heard that but it is what I, it is I, I saw you singing it now right I know you've always been a big critic of his but <laughs> <laughs> but should we have kept him I mean now now that the guys we finally found his position he's scoring goals he's, he's creating things he's 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 
been. Uh, I remember. I remember in even that Newcastle game when he trapped back and made that tackle, that that goal-saving tackle. He's finally become the player that we thought we were getting, and now we're selling him. Do you think we're making a mistake here, or do you think the time is right? It's his choice. <laughs> I, I, I think it's his choice. I don't think it's, it's Mikel Arteta showing him the door. I think that he knows that next season his minutes are going to be limited in comparison to this one. And he wants to be playing week in, week out. So I think it's his, I don't think it's a case of should the club be selling him. I think he's done well to turn it around. He's done well to, to give us that this, this one final season that he's given us. If it was up to me, I'd like to keep him on the bench as rotation slash backup. Mm. But it is what it is. I think, I think now is the summer where we need to upgrade into on Granite Xhaka. So credit to him for turning it around, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, a lot of people act like it's a love story. If I want a love story, I'll, I'll switch on Netflix and, and, and see what I can find. <laughs> this is a football club, you know? So as much as, yes, he's turned it around and he's turned the, the disconnect with the fans to a, a, a major connection, it seems. But the fact of the matter is, this is a football club and we need to continue moving forward, continue building. I've seen Vieira leave this club. I've seen Henri leave this club. Mm. I've seen many greats leave this club. What? At the end of the day, Xhaka, for me, is not a great. He's done well to turn it around in his final season. Thank you for this season. See you later. Introducing Fanzo. My friend Elliot from Canada. Regarding the title discussions, I'm done. I've been done for a while now. As so you've given up? Days. You've given up? Yeah, I have. Allows any fan, anywhere you are on the planet, to broadcast live into our shows at the push of a button via our website or app. Well, I'm tired of hearing about the Europa League like it's silverware. So is the League Cup. So is the Dubai Cup. So is the Community Shield. Ah, uh, Michael, and come I... on. They're not the same level. No, I mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Cecile. <laughs> My guy. Fan Zone on AFTV+. Plus. You can download it on iOS or the Play Store and have your say. Welcome back to the Forever Arsenal podcast. Black, white, young, old, you know, knees on there. You know, disabled, abled, man, but it doesn't... Smith Rowe didn't get a minute yesterday, not a minute that needs minutes. Where's he going to get his minutes from now? Get your, get your notifications <laughs> on, ladies and gentlemen. Take your down tomorrow. <laughs> I think the idea of Meza Ozil was 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 better than the actual reality of Ozil at Arsenal. For the, your mic, not turn your camera off. For the audio listeners, uh, yeah. Lee, Lee, yeah. Lee's in pieces. Lee's in pieces. I have it. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.